What is going on guys? It's been a minute since I've posted a video. Today we are uh, we're putting some new headlights in this 2015 GMC Sierra of mine. Uh, you've seen a fog light video possibly. Um, replace the turn signals and all kinds of good stuff. Um, I had LEDs in this thing already. These Oxidos right here. Um, and they didn't stop working or anything, but they're very, they're very dull. They're not bright at all. I guess dim. They're very dim. Um, so I don't know what's going on. Uh, I went ahead and replaced one of these already with these Forner LED lights. Um, let's see. 9012 type Q6. I ordered probably three or four sets of different uh, makes of lights off Amazon and they just wouldn't fit one after the other. They would not fit. These finally fit. Um, you gotta make sure you have this little uh, this little plug right here. Anyways, I'm trying not to break that because I'm still gonna use it. So I've got the lights on in the shop, but I'm real close to the door. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the difference so this is a brand new one there it is right there and there's the old one um big time difference already big time difference uh so like i said it is you know i do have the lights on here but you can clearly tell the difference right there i think it's going to be awesome um i'm going to go ahead and put the other one in and then i'll turn the lights off because uh, that one's going to be the tough one it's not super tough. There's just a little bit more. You got to take the airbox and everything out to get to it. This one, it's wide open right there. So that's what that is. Uh, let me put that other one in real quick, and then I'll show you what I got. So I know this isn't the best and brightest video, but your whole airbox right there has to come out. So start out by taking those four uh, little bolts out. Phillips head. Um, I've only got three. That comes off. I take my filter out and then that box right there just pops in you can see these little holes right here just kind of pops in you gotta make sure it pops over the, the little port right there and then i've got this right here for my four-wheeler plastics and stuff like that always uh always have always breaking these and stuff like that and it works really really well i had to get up underneath here it's a 10 mil Took that one all the way out. It's this bar right here. It it sits across here like this. And you can't get this air box out. Or maybe you can. I just couldn't. Anyways, you take all that stuff apart. Didn't take too long, but just make sure it's a uh those are those are Phillips head. And then this is a this is a 10 mil. And I just kind of used uh, I took a couple of these up. Let's see, let me find one. Works like this, this little thing. It gets up under here. And then, I mean, it works perfect. You just kind of use it and pry it out. So, let me go back in real easy. Anyways, that's where that is. And I'm also using this thing to take this cover right here off. It's held on by a few of these. So, three or four of those, and then you can get back, back there and untwist the little uh, housing for the light. All right, so these new lights came with these fancy little white gloves. Make you feel like a butler or something. Um, why? I don't know. Probably because you're not supposed to touch any part of it, I guess. Um, which you can do without those gloves. I mean, you can do all that right there, but I'm going to put them on anyways because it makes me feel fancy. Plug the light in before you go to put it in uh, because... There's just no way to do it without, the, without, uh, I mean, a little bit of magic, I guess. That little, that fat little prong there and those two on the sides, um, there's indentions on the inside of the light and you can see exactly where this goes. The, the big part's going to go down and then it's like a quarter turn to the right, locks it in. Um, if you're wondering why I don't have this door open for a little bit of light, it's because it's freezing ass cold and the wind's blowing like 30 mile an hour all right i'm not sure if you can see this spinning but 
make sure you don't press on that right there. Let me see if I can get it. I don't know if you can see it, but that spins around. There's a little fan right there. You see the blades? There's a little fan and that thing spins around to keep the, uh, keep the light cool, I'm guessing, because it gets hotter than shit. So make sure you don't press on that too hard. Here's those fans on those Arxedos. So those uh, foreigners, they're the same kind of thing. All right, I've got the lights all turned off in here. Here we go. Way better. Now, if you listen. Turn it off. Turn it back on. Listen. You can hear that fan I was talking about. You can hear that thing spinning. I hope. But it is. Trust me. You don't know me, but trust me. So, that's what those look like. Way, way, way brighter than those Oxidos. Why? I don't know. Because I remember when I got those Oxidos, I remember thinking, holy shit, these are bright. But these are way brighter. All right. Here they are at night. And here's my fog lights. Without fog lights. These things are so much better. That's a, right now. Well, well worth it. Thanks for watching.